Travis, uh, another close game for your group where you get a point. I'm sure you would have liked the second one, but what did you think of the way your team played tonight? Oh, it was a tough game. Give Montreal credit. They played well tonight. Um, it's a hard fought game. I like that we battled back. Uh, when we weren't playing well, I didn't like the second half of the second period. And um, it's a hard game for our team and a, and a point well earned. How do you look at the body of work on the entire road trip from a process standpoint? Obviously, seven of eight points is, is a really successful trip. But, you know, when you look at the way your team is playing, aside from the results, what have you thought? I like it. All right, next up here, we'll go to Farhan Malji. Travis, was fatigue a factor at any point as you got into the second half of this game? Could have been. Just played four games in six nights. All of them went to overtime. But uh, I'm not going to use that as an excuse, but you're asking me and I'm possibly. Uh, what about the play in front of Braden today? There seemed to be, he seemed to be screened on every goal. I'm not sure he saw any of them. Just um, Is that just part of wanting to commit to block shots or is there something you could do differently there? Uh, he faced a lot of shot attempts. I thought Holtz was fine. Obviously, some of our guys, gotta, if you're going to be in front of the goalie, you got to get in front of the shot. So. Okay, next up here, we'll go to Thomas Grants. Travis, as you said, you've been to overtime now every game this road trip. Uh, at no point did we see Niels Hoaglander, who plays in your top six, take one of those shifts. Does that come down to a philosophy of when to give a young player a shot in that situation? Or what can you say about the thinking there? I haven't put him out there yet. Um, you know, it's the NHL. It's, it's, there's a lot of intricacies that go into three on three. Uh, plus, we've won a couple in overtime. We haven't got right through the five minutes, but he'll be fine. And when you consider um, the two games against Montreal overall and the fact that you're chasing them in, in the playoff spot, does that make the split three points each uh, a little tougher to swallow? Or do you just have to look at the seven of eight that you guys won from this trip and, and move forward here? Not very hard to swallow at all. We've had a hell of a road trip. Okay, we'll go now to Chris Faber. Travis, as you kind of mentioned there, you guys have had five games go to overtime over the past seven after having only three in the first 28 games of the season. Uh, do you think that's just a weird coincidence or is this division really starting to tighten up now that you guys have played each other so many times? Uh, it's probably that time of year. Teams are, you know, their, their systems are tighter than they were at the start of the year. Uh, it's not like in playoff hockey, there's a lot of overtime games. Probably see a little more of that as we go down the stretch. And you mentioned it, uh, you know, pretty tough road trip for you guys, especially closing out with the back-to-back -back here. How how excited do you think are are you for your group to just get back home to Vancouver and kind of settle in? Well, we're not going to have a lot of time to settle in. Uh, obviously, we got a flight tonight, get back late, and get rested up tomorrow. And got a couple more games coming up before we get a break.